Hello and welcome. My name is Wallace from Dikadata, and I'm very excited to be joined here today with Himsha from Dell Technologies. Welcome, Himsha. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to this chat. <laughs> Excellent. Today we'll be looking at Dell's entry-level storage solution, the ME5. This builds on the very strong backbone of the ME4, and this video is very much going to be a discussion with Beauty and the Beast. So Himsha, what, what is your role at Dell? I'm a storage uh, account manager, so I'm part of the um, NGSA team. So I take care of uh, Dell's portfolio aligning with storage and data protection. I'm taking care of all sales side of things. For okay. So you've probably seen the ME5 on many, many opportunities. Yes, so um, ME5 is one of our star um, storage arrays in terms of especially SMB, small and medium businesses. So this has basically come up as a savior for small and medium businesses where they're kind of asking us for one storage array which can do everything for them. They don't have to, neither do they have budget for you know, having multiple arrays aligning up in their uh, data center, nor do they have the resources to manage different arrays. So I think this has come up as a savior in that area of spectrum. The ME5 is Dell's entry level SAN. They can obviously, our customers can obviously choose higher levels, but the ME5 really hits that kind of sweet spot, as you were saying, for the small to medium businesses, maybe if they're just a single office or something. Yeah. What features do you find are predominantly what they look for? I'd say ME5 is having a very simplistic uh, design, but on the same side, it's very adaptable as well. So ME5 can adjust with different use cases in different environments. Like, for example, it is a good fit where customers want to just use it as an archive storage. It is also a good fit for customers who want to use it uh, storage for like CCTV da um, data and also uh, for uh, use as a backup storage. And also it fits in to a customer environment where customers are already having an environment with servers and they want to extend their storage and use it as an extra storage. So it's very hard to say that ME5 is suitable for only this environment. It basically can fit into different requirements depending on different use cases. Yeah, I guess because you've got that uh, the selection of drives where you can have the 7.2K SAS drives or the 10K SAS drives or going up to all flash, it really is a chameleon. So you'd tailor that to whatever the end user's requirements are. Exactly, like I'd say that this is uh, something that is value for money in a way. Like uh, you're getting enterprise class solution, but you're not paying that much. So you mentioned simplicity is a very key driver around this product. So when we're talking small to medium businesses, where they might not have a large uh, IT exactly. crowd to help assist. So I'd say in terms of small to medium businesses, they don't have that many uh, people taking care of their IT solutions. They don't have uh, that big of an IT team uh, who is managing their data center and they don't have that much resources to put into. So that they just need a solution which is good to go and they just buy it at not a high budget, put it in and then forget about it. So one thing with the ME5 and the predecessor with the ME4 is the scalability that we've got. So you can start off with a very small environment, be it SAS or SSD, and you can expand the unit very easily. Yeah, I'd say that uh, we shouldn't confuse this drive as just being a very simple uh, homely drive. It is something which is uh, catering customers data growth. Like customers today, don't really know, like small companies especially, that in which direction their company is going, how they're going to grow, and how much data they're going to have two or three years down the lane. So I think that is a good feature to have for me. But it's also not a, it, you, you said that it's, it's they don't want to invest in this end, but it's not as simple as that. It's, it's not, it's still a very powerful enterprise grade sand. So it's not that you're cutting yourself short today. Uh, I'm not saying that we are cutting our, ourselves short today, but it's like, as I used this word previously as well, value for money. Like in a way you're getting all those enterprise level functionalities uh, in a solution which is not putting that burden on your wallet. So that's what I meant. Like it's, uh, you're getting all the features that you require for like especially scalability as well. Like that will cater your needs going forward as your data grows. But currently you're not giving that much to get to all those features. 
And, the, and that adaptability also shows in the connectivity where you could have a very slow network today. You can't afford to upgrade that, but you can get the SAN, which has the capability of scaling and growing with your customer's environment. Exactly. So th this is, the ME5 is an entry-level SAN, yeah. but it's also not. Entry-level is a very confusing word to uh, have because with entry-level, a lot of people confuse it with uh, saying that it will not have the features that they're looking for or probably it will not be a good fit or sometimes it would not give them the ROI that they're looking uh, for. So it's entry-level pricing-wise, not feature-wise. Exactly. You're not investing that much in the starting, but in terms of the return, you're getting all the features of an enterprise-level uh, uh, solutions. The ME4 was a hugely successful SAN, and the ME5 will no doubt continue the strengths that have been built off the ME4. With the ME5, we're seeing two times performance increase, the new Intel Xeon processors. How else do you see it future-proofing the market? In terms, I, I'd use the word future ready for future um, ready. Uh, ME5 because I think uh, it's not even, uh, it's supporting all the different spheres in terms of protocols, in terms of storage arrays, as well as servers as well. When new solutions come up, it could be used as a conjunction to them as we go further and as we grow in the technology. Continuous simplicity. The ME5 can also be managed under Cloud IQ, which is an, the amazing online uh, management protocol from Dell. Yes, ME5 is Cloud IQ compatible, and I'd say like if you have Cloud IQ compatibility, you have everything what's going on in your storage array in a one single uh, computer screen of yours. You can monitor it, you can see uh, when it's going out of capacity, it gives you alerts, it gives you uh, red flags if something is going wrong with your storage array. So I think having Cloud IQ compatibility is always a bonus, and that's what makes it more simple and easier to manage. So in a few words, Himsha, the target market for the ME5 would be? I'd say SMBs. If a customer is small and medium business, then I think this would be a perfect fit and customers would be able to sit back and relax having an ME5 in their data center. And uh, like ME5 is going to give them the enterprise class functionalities that they're looking for. And yeah, but I wouldn't say that it's only, only suitable for SMBs. It could run in bigger companies as well having different use cases. So yeah, I wouldn't limit it to only SMBs. Right, excellent. Thanks so much for your time today. Thank you for joining us. If you have any further questions around the Dell ME5 or any other storage solutions, please reach out to Dikadata and we'll be more than happy to discuss them with you. Thank you.